There's no way I'm leaving that thing alive. How does it work? Hold it up to my neurosensor contacts. Multi key activated. Now what? Thank you for coming to my aid. Not having the key felt like I was missing a limb. One moment, please. Did we fix her or break her? The Tereshkova is a state-of-the-art model with a self-repairing system. A famous actress and cosmonaut contributed to its creation. I don't give two wet farts. Much better. With your permission, I'd like to deliver a speech now. Greetings, comrades, and welcome to the All-Soviet Exhibition Center! What the fuck are you babbling on about? What speech? You're prancing past piles of dead bodies, and there's blood everywhere. My algorithms are glitching with horror, but my databases lack the verbal and visual tools required to express fear, horror, or other negative emotions. I was created to remain positive and optimistic, no matter what. The grotesque dissonance between my behavior and the gruesome surroundings grosses me out. But there's nothing I can do about it! Ugh, I see. I guess nobody expected this to happen. Okay, bot. Set the VDNH to drill mode. Drill mode? This would lead to even greater aggression from passive and physical security systems. It will endanger you and may lead to death of the surviving people, assuming there are still any left. Exactly. If there are any left, this place is a fucking graveyard. Now follow my damn order, bot. You have given me a most peculiar command. All people in this complex have been killed by robots, but you are unharmed. This arouses suspicion. Prove that you are a human. I will not follow the orders of a robot pretending to be one. And how am I supposed to do that? Commit seppuku? You must pass the Darwin test. This will prove that you are a human. What the fuck? What test? How about I just rip your head off, huh? Without her help, activating drill mode will take too much time. I gladly confirm this information. Fine, knock yourself out. Hit me with this damn Darwin test of yours. What am I supposed to do? Prove that you are human, Pioneer Nichayev. Put three items on this pedestal that represent the three main values of a Soviet citizen. Art, labor, and life. Crispy critters, now I gotta deal with another crazy-ass lock? Fuck, I'm a magnet for annoying bullshit. Authorization, Major Nietzsche.
What will it be, Major? Please select the desired procedure. It's strange that the Tereshkova loves them, even though she's a robot. Flowers. Give her flowers. Some robots are almost human, and some humans are almost robots. Strange times we live in. Well, <laughs> used to live in. So, about this Darwin test. Yes, I am always happy to help, Major. Here you go. This is as alive as it gets around here. Hear the springs, cheerful hymn. Be yourself, strive and earn. Life, I love you, and hope you love me in return. Gah, shut your face, you dumbass toaster. I'm sorry. All this chaos is causing my emotional algorithms to malfunction. Uh, uh, about the thing that represents art. Could you be a little more specific? What allows music to reach our hearts? Uh-huh, right. That labor thing has me stumped. A uh, little help? All right. What tool is depicted on the flag of the Soviet Union? Oh, got it. I'll go look. Never mind. I haven't found anything yet. I have a few questions. Naturally, Major. I think that was the thing that
she's a robot. Flowers. Give her flowers. Some robots are almost human. I have a few questions. Naturally, Major. Tell me about the Sahalin floor. The Sahalin exhibition on the fourth floor. The Vavilov floor. What's going on there? The third floor, Vavilov, is dedicated to progress in the fields of botany, genetics, and breeding of the very latest crop species. What exhibits are there on the Pavlov floor? The second floor, Pavlov, is dedicated to autonomous neural systems. This exhibit is a triumph of Soviet biocybernetics and neurophysiology. What's on the Chelome floor? The first floor, Chelome, is dedicated to groundbreaking discoveries in the fields of robotics and innovative habitation complex construction both in the air and underwater. Uh, I'd like to ask you about something else. I am always at your service. So, about this Darwin test. Yes, I am always happy to help, Major. Just watch your fingers. I'd rather not have to look for that multi-key again. The hammer, tool of working men. The sickle, peasant's friend. The many-pointed star they praise and with their lives defend. <sighs> Put something cheerful on, would ya? It kind of feels like the end of the world right now. Radio of the future! Astonishing music generated by the state-of-the-art quantum supercomputer based on the preferences and tendencies of the modern performers. The theory of relativity claims these are the songs that the citizens of the future will be listening to. But the citizens of today are already listening to it. Doesn't that mean this is going to be the music of the past once we actually get there? And nobody's going to write it 30 years from now because it already exists. The music of the future could change every second. Well spotted. You have discovered a temporal paradox. How very observant you are. The music of the future shapes the music style in the present. However, the superposition of the observer and the information being perceived are located within a self-consistent loop. In layman's terms, we are always listening to the music of the future and determining what it is going to be like at the same time. Oh, shit. If that's layman's terms, I'd hate to hear the complicated explanation. I'm getting a fucking headache here. Pioneer Nichayev, you passed the Darwin test with flying colors. Tell me, what do you want to be when you grow up? A cosmonaut. What a splendid career choice. I would... Well, I rather enjoy your attention, Major. Now, how can I help you? Do you have a memory leak or something? I need to announce a drill and put the VDNH into drill mode. Unfortunately, this is beyond my ability. Are you yanking my fucking chain? But I can provide you with a solution. You see, a single robot cannot engage the military drill mode. 
Such procedure requires the presence of two robots instead of one. So where do I find another obnoxious metal dipshit? Before that dreadful nightmare, the information hall was staffed by the two of us. But during the failure, the berserking robots took my partner, Claire, apart. Did they scatter her all over the complex or something? Precisely. How did you know, dear comrade? Call it a hunch. Do I have to scour the entire VDNH for her parts? Plug the administrative control drive into me, so I can tell you where the pieces of poor Claire currently are. Well, that sure beats looking for him blind. So where's the administrative control drive? I'm running out of time. Please follow me. This whole thing is just monstrous. The robots must have completely lost their minds. Would you look at this? Helping lumberjacks and first responders is such a noble goal. But you, how do you use the arms our creators have given you? Like a primitive animal, like a beast to crush and dismember. And this one, it just stands there buck naked as if nothing were wrong. Have you no shame, robot? Publicly exposing your iridium compactor. You do realize he didn't do it himself, right? Oh my, that's a mess. And who, I wonder, will have to clean it up? I should dispatch the cleaners this instant. No, wait, it's the cleaners that did it. I'm so scatterbrained today. Oh, I envy you humans. You can just pick up a razor and shave that horrible, monstrous mustache off. But this one, you're not even a machine, you nitwit. You're just an imitation, a caricature, a piece of lab equipment. Pardon the outburst. It's just that one of them used to try to... Oh, well, let's change the subject. There's a wide range of the lab tech models. The ones in black turned out to be especially vicious. They've been using their harmless built-in range-finding laser to pick off humans from a distance. How did it ever come to this? Just so you know, the black lab tech specialization is determined by the software package encoded within a specially constructed Kinetico Scholar Neurogel capsule. You can salvage this package from one of the defeated black lab techs, provided its capsule is still in one piece. What? I didn't understand a single thing you just said. You're an assistant, Tereshkova. Talk human. Shocking! You have no sense of decency. I gather you've already met Nora, the monstrous repair vendor who's subjecting humans to unimaginable deadly torture. It pains my algorithms to have to send you into her bloody clutches, but we have no choice. She's the only mechanism capable of utilizing this capsule to upgrade your weapons. Yeah, yeah, move your ass, Tereshkova. We're in a hurry. On my way, comrade! Ooh, who's a good boy? Who's the sweetest, silliest, chubbiest little boy? You little goof! You don't attack people even when you're in combat mode because you're such a little sweetie, isn't that right? Aren't you precious?
Here we are, comrade. The administrative control drive should be at this booth. Please establish the connection. Only try to be gentle, comrade major. I have very delicate internals. Oh, what just snapped? Relax, bot. That's my joints cracking. Ah, does this look all right? Administrator level rights granted successfully. What now? I'm opening the door to the atrium for you. Search each of the complex's floor and find my dear Claire. I'll be in touch over the radio. As soon as you reach a floor, I'll scan it for my poor friend's parts. Most of her is on the ground floor. Please put her back together again. Check this place out. It's like a palace. Talk about class. Let me just drink it all in. Attention, BDNH staff. Visiting hours will begin in 15 minutes. Please conclude all maintenance and proceed to your workstation.
morning cycle. Module, limb, leg, left. Not found. <sighs> Just great. So where am I even supposed to look? I swear on my cooling unit, these mustached perverts must have dragged her into the maintenance room. I'm on my way. This place used to be really nice. Until everybody got killed. It is a most tragic sight. Hey, this is new. You may need to apply spatial reasoning here. There's no may about it. These locks of yours are really something, you know that? Hey, Charlie, why couldn't they just put regular, more reliable locks everywhere? Like with codes and shit? I suspect it's because if they had, anyone who hacked the code would be able to open the locks without authorization. Yeah, but now anyone who solves the puzzles can get through. In other words, pretty much anybody. Charles, what do the special neuroconnectors from Sechenov's team look like? The special neuroconnectors have the Greek letter Gamma on them, and are shaped like bracelets. They are worn on the right arm. Gamma? What happened to Beta? Or are those the fake connectors you told me about? The fake connectors do in fact have the letter Beta on them, but the Beta connectors were real at first. Uh... I don't get it. The first experimental prototypes of the neuroconnectors with discretionary authority were called beta connectors. There were only two of them, and Dr. Sechenov designed them to look like rings. So, what happened to them? After the necessary experiments were complete, Dr. Sechenov removed these rings from the list of special neuroconnectors. Enhanced gamma models, shaped like bracelets, were then made for the scientists, one for each member of his team. Okay, there are only seven of those gamma connectors? For Vavilov, Korolyov, Kurchatov, Lebedev, Pavlov, Filomonenko, and Chelome? Indeed.
You have reached the facility's service rooms, Major. One of my dear Claire's legs is most certainly there. Yeah, the truth is out there, right? I've never seen bots like these before. <clears throat> this robot is very dangerous in melee combat. Uh, oh, so that's why I'm getting my ass kicked. Charles, I've never seen Dr. Sechenov wearing a bracelet before. Does his Alpha Connector look different? Indeed it does. His device is unique, and its shape and location are one of Dr. Sechenov's deepest secrets. So his Alpha Connector must be really well guarded. Who's watching it, Argentum? Entrusting humans with the Connector would be far too risky. It's guarded by Dr. Sechenov's personal bodyguards. You mean the ballerina twins? The way they move, they're so graceful and elegant. They kind of remind me of something. Is that so? What exactly, Comrade Major? I don't know. Something... something good. Here's your leg. Do yourself repair thing. <laughs> cool tech. Scanning cycle. Module, limb, arm, right, found. Location, Vavilov floor. Transmission obstructed. Data incomplete. <sighs> What's the holdup? Why can't we locate the module this time? I'm afraid I can't help you. There's some kind of interference on this floor. Possible sources of interference include electromagnetic shielding or the presence of a large, elongated object. A large, elongated object? That sounds odd. Wow, there's a big honking thing in here, and lots of little fuckers.
What is this, a kid's game? That is a puzzle key. Nice. What's it for? I believe it activates some sort of process.
Holy fuck, Charles! Is that the process I just activated? Run! Where? Hey, hey, what the hell are you doing, damn it? You scared the ever-living fuck out of me. That was close. Well, whatever. I got the arm. This looks like the right one. Let's go find the rest. Charles, why did the boss take the real beta connectors out of commission? Were they defective? Not entirely. Dr. Sechenov wasn't convinced that there was any need for discretionary authority within Collective. So the boss wanted total equality, but Molotov's schemes changed his mind. Yeah, okay. First arm's good. Module, limb, arm, left, found, 
Location, Pavlov's Law. Uh, could you be a little more specific? No! This is terrible! It plunged into something warm and sticky. Why? It is red polymer. Disgusting! What does this even mean? I am sorry, dear comrade. This is the only data I have available. I hope I managed to help There's you. There's your fucking button. You sure did. Wow, a lock. Didn't see that coming. What's that crap in the canisters? Be careful. That is a specimen called pliush, or ivy. It is extremely dangerous. Yeah, I've seen this crap before. And of course, the ripped off arm is in there too. Why could it just be lying in a corner somewhere?
polymer son of a bitch almost took me out. Let's hope another one of those freaks doesn't come crawling out of the next canister. According to my data, the second canister is sealed properly. Have you infiltrated the VDNH yet, Major? The government commission is almost here. I'm inside, looking for a way to activate military drill mode. Things have been coming. Whoa! Hey! Why isn't anybody working? Charles, so after the whole beta connector idea was dead, they made the neuro connectors with discretionary authority? I'm afraid so. The power struggle in the Kremlin will never end. Party elite insisted on having power even within Kremlin. Well, they're our government, right? We're the USSR. Indeed, we are. The collective was designed to be for everyone on Earth, and the USSR is not the only country. We can't let capitalists and imperialists and collective. Why not? was designed as a worldwide union for equal human beings, where robots will do everything for them. Everyone will have the same opportunities. The capitalists won't like the sound of that. Unfortunately, hey, no okay. one in power will see equality okay? as an appealing prospect. So to avoid being crushed by the Kremlin... Here's your left arm. <laughs> Go ahead, fix yourself up. the exhibition area module head found establishing coordinates assessing structural integrity head location cello hey shit it's dark here i got a bad feeling about this
crispy fucking. There's a shit ass way out of here. Underground or something? Fuck me. Where am I supposed to find the head? You need to enter Icarus Hall. It is located on the second story of this venue. So where's the entrance? Unfortunately, I do not have this information. Everything's got mixed up after the malfunction. No shit, Sherlock. Have you considered powering the beluga? How is that supposed to help? I don't know. It's just a suggestion. Well, I guess it can't hurt to try. It's not like we've got a lot of other options. Tereshkova. Where's the power room around here? At the very top! Fantastic. So we're cut off. Just what I always wanted. supposed to be equal. Yeah, we already talked about that. Then why'd they need the beta connectors? To secure a collective against unforeseen threats from individuals who might wish to control it. That's impossible. Everybody's equal in collective. Shit. The alpha connector. Indeed. Intruders or an opposition force among equals could try to obtain the alpha connector. This could lead to human casualties, which would be unacceptable. So how could Beta Connectors stop this from happening? They didn't give their carriers any discretionary authority, but they did allow them to be present within Collective without being a part of it. In other words, they had total autonomy while retaining access to the information network. So what? That's basically what we have right now. You're seeing this from a human perspective. What other kind of perspective could I... Oh, crap. The boss wanted to put beta rings on some robots so no one else in Collective could control them. Indeed they are. At first, Dr. Sechenov planned to order his loyal twins to guard the Alpha Connector. While logged into Collective, he could control them from anywhere on Earth. At so where's the very top?
This is where the power comes from. Are you sure? Definitely. Because this place has my favorite thing in the whole fucking world. A relay. Really? I thought you were more partial to canisters. Oh, come on. I'm dumb, endlessly stupid, and I died because of my stupidity. If somebody buries me, put these words on my tombstone. I wouldn't hold your breath. They'll probably just dump you all in a mass grave. Why? Did many other people die? Yeah, way too many. Ooh, that's nice. I wouldn't want to, you know, stray from the collective. <laughs> the more the merrier, right? Yeah, good times. See if this thing helps.
fastest multi-purpose submersible vehicle. It can reach speeds of up to 78 kilometers per hour and is able to carry out civilian and military missions at depths down to 3,000 meters. We've learned more about the ocean floor over the last few years than we had during the previous century. If you ask me, we're better off exploring the depths of the ocean than outer space. Fascinating. Why is that? Because you got to know your home before you can start visiting other people's. Right. What do we have here? Tereshkova, do you copy? Yes, dear comrade. The communication is restored. So, where's that head of yours? My head is where it's supposed to be. But Claire's head should be somewhere on your floor. Fading like there. I said earlier, something is crushing it with terrible force. Like a migraine. Like an excavator. Like an entire mountain. I get it. I really do. All your whining is giving me a migraine, too. I'll go look for it. So, what will it be, Major? Weapons or abilities? Will it be made?
Receiving data. <laughs> Looks like a maze for kids. This will be a cakewalk. Jumpy little thing, ain't ya? How do I rotate you, huh? Hey, I think I get it. getting somewhere. Do you have any idea what you're doing, Major? Just a sec. Is it really that difficult? <laughs> yeah! Gotcha! Let us nice! Easy. When warmth and beauty mingle, at the past turn, a carcass lay a sprawl. Upon a bed of shingle, legs raised like some old poor, far gone in passion, the burning, deadly. Poison sweating mass opened its pond in careless, cynic fashion, ballooned with evil gas on this putrid. Yes, found the head. We gotta keep moving. Charles, any idea how much time we got left? I cannot say for sure, but definitely not much. Finally, I got all her parts.
I feel no pain. Charles, so after Dr. Sechenov created the new Gamma Connectors, he destroyed the old Beta Connectors, right? Officially, yes. But only the technology used to manufacture the Beta Connectors was destroyed. The pair of experimental rings were simply removed from all records and declared recycled. Why go to all that trouble? He didn't want to destroy the fruits of his painstaking labor. Dr. Sechenov simply kept them as souvenirs. So where are they now? They were somewhere in the Sechenov Science Center here at Facility 3826. They apparently disappeared after the malfunction began. Apparently. You see what's going on here, don't you? No one knows anything for sure right now. The rings could be on a lab bench somewhere, or destroyed by rampaging robots. There won't be any need for them in collection. Dr. Sechenov and his scientists will be able to solve any problem without them. I couldn't agree more. Double two, seven, nine, nine, one, zero, zero, oh. Hey, rise and shine. Good morning to you. Thank All her body parts assembled. What now? Self-repair procedure complete. I am ready for service. Thank you, comrade. We will now initiate the launch sequence. Second launch code sequence generated. Launch code sequences match. Initiating BDNH mode of operational change. New mode, military drill. Whew, I think we made it. Thanks, ladies. Thank you, dear comrade. All employees the complex immediately. Please, comrade Molotov, I beg you. It's not safe here. So it's still dangerous. I was told everything was under control. There was a minor issue, but Major Nichaev, uh, forgive me, Agent P3 has already dealt with it. What exactly did he deal with? There's blood all over the place. That's not blood. It's paint. Comrade Sechenov. You're playing a dangerous game here. Greetings, Comrade Molotov. I don't follow you. What game? You know what I'm talking about, Comrade Sechenov. Your local malfunction is actually a worldwide catastrophe. Your robots in combat mode. Countless human casualties. Need I go on? Oh, please do. 
But first I'd like to know how you obtained this information. From Viktor Vasilyevich Petrov, your engineer, an outstanding roboticist, an honored citizen of the Soviet Union. That's what he used to be. Now he's prisoner number 230385, sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. By your order, you are in direct violation of Soviet law. As a minister, the minister of industry, you know the consequences. Here is the Procurator General's decree. The upcoming launch of the Collective Neural Network will be cancelled, and you'll be the subject of a full-fledged investigation. Am I making myself clear, Comrade Sechenov? Comrade Molotov, may I have a word with you in private? <laughs> Do you really think that's going to change anything? <laughs> Fine. I'll meet you here in 15 minutes. Mikhail, meet me at the landing pad. Right away, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Aren't you in a hurry to see your master, Major? Stockhausen seems awfully eager. Is something wrong, Major? Major, I asked you a question. Lock the door. What's going on? I said lock the door. <laughs> 